Hello Leo, welcome back. My name is Rosa. Thank you once again for tuning into yet another read. Today I'm here to bring you a very general um, monthly love, uh, monthly love, monthly vibes reading for the month of September. Okay, keep in mind, Leo, these are just general messages. So take what speaks, leave what doesn't. Uh, don't try to make this reading fit for you if it doesn't speak to you. Um, but I do set the intention you can at least take away something away from my reading that can help you in the month of September. Okay, now for those beautiful, gorgeous Leos that are tuning in for the very first time, guys, I do want to say that I'm also over on Instagram where I do offer a variety of separate readings over on my IGTV channel. So I have recently uploaded some generals over there. So if that speaks to you, feel free to go and check those out. I will leave a description link on how to connect with me in the descriptions box below. Equally, if you would like to work with me, um, do keep in mind there is about a one week turnaround for all readings and coaching sessions. Beautiful Leo, I was guided to do your reading first before I take a lunch break. So I am here doing your reading. I am using two particular decks for this reading, the Wild Unknown Tarot and the Wisdom of the Oracle to draw an overall energy or message for the month of September. Now what's coming through for your overall energy is the never ending story. Okay. So there's a lot of confusion. Maybe there was a lot of confusion surrounding you in the recent past. I still see here for you, Leo, that um, some things are still quite unclear. Okay. And I see you feeling tired, worn down, exhausted. You know, your hand, your head is in your hands going, oh my God, not this again. Okay, now I am drawn to this fairy's wing. So something here is telling me, Leo, you want to expand, you want to elevate, you want to ascend or rise or go the next level. Okay, but yet here you are, you're finding yourself in this situation again. And why is that? You know, I feel like, Leo, you're being really hard on yourself. Yeah, sure, time is ticking on. Time is ticking on. I feel like you've created a timeline or a time limit for yourself. And the fact that you're um, not meeting those deadlines, okay, is impacting on your delivery or your results or your achievements or your goals, okay? Something's impacting here. Now, the reason why this is continuously um, playing out for you and you're finding yourself stuck here is because to me, spirit is saying that this is a story that you keep telling yourself in your head. Okay, this is a program that you're running on. And I'm telling you, until you shift that mindset or that belief or that pattern or that program, you're going to continuously find yourself in this position. Okay, now um, all I'm going to say to you, Leo, is that listen to your heart, okay? You, you're, you're good at listening to your heart. Let go of ego at this time. What is it that your heart truly wants? What is it that your heart beats for? And let that lead you, Leo. Okay, so that is a street, uh, that is a clear, strong message coming through for your month of September. Now we've got the um, the Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Emperor. Now all this leads to one thing and one thing only. This is work related, business related, uh, money related, finance related. Um, with the Hierophant, you're really committed. You're really committed to the outcome of building something very significant. Okay? Very big, very influential. The Emperor is a masculine energy. Okay? He is someone who builds empires and businesses. You're a CEO. You're the boss babe, the boss man. Um, you're the leader. 
okay, of some enterprise or establishment, okay, the hierophant here says um, this could be to do with institutions, maybe you're working alongside an institution or you're working to create your own institution. Okay, but also too with the Hierophant card, see, I'm hearing here that you're sort of going by the book, okay, but Spirit's saying here, the fact that you're going by the book, you're going by what you think other people want, or you think what other people need, is finding you back here. Okay, in the same position again and again and again. And the reason why this is, Leo, is because you think this is what people need. You need to do it from your heart. Okay, is this what you want? Okay, and if the answer is a big, fat, massive yes, then do it. Don't do it because you think other people want this. I really do feel that you're trying to provide some kind of service. I'm speaking to a Leo here that wants to offer a service or a product to other people. This is the Leo that I'm connecting with. If that's not you, then I'm sorry, all you other Leos, this is not your reading for the month of September. I am speaking to a Leo who is trying to create a product or a service where other people can come to you for um, some kind of support, advice, uh, something that they can grow. Maybe it's got to do with finances um, or it's got to do with health, okay? Health or finances could be to do with nutrition. Um, this could be something that it, it's a product that is um, natural, I'm hearing the word natural. It comes from trees, okay? This product could come from trees or the earth, okay? It's a natural product or something like that. Um, there's great potential here for you, Leo. You just need to get out of your own way. You need to get out of your own head because uh, that's what's keeping you stuck here. Okay, at the end of the day, you hold this key. You're getting in the way of your own potential and progress. You hold the key. Okay, you're completely committed to this, whatever this is. However, I feel like, like I mentioned before, I feel like you're doing it because you think other people want it. Instead, it's got to come from your heart and soul. If it's what you want, Leo, if this is something that you want, would you want this? Whatever you're working on here, would you want this? Would it be something that you would invest in? Would it be something that you're willing to work night and day for? Is this something that you're willing to wake up at freaking one o'clock in the morning because your heart and soul make you find an abundant amount of energy to invest in this? If the answer is yes, 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 then that's the key, okay? That's the key to unlocking your potential. Okay, the emperor is someone who has made a numerous amount of mistakes but never gives up. The emperor is someone who fails over and over and over and over again but never gives up. The emperor is someone who has gone through many different experiences to get here. And I say this with conviction, Leo. Okay? So there's something I'm going to leave you with. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Feel free to leave your likes and comments below. And until next time, Leo, I'll speak to you soon.